Carbon forms compounds with hydrogen called hydrocarbons, or petroleum, that fuel our civilization. As the chain gets longer, the molecules change from gas to gasoline, oil, wax, to rubber, and finally to plastics. When a hydrocarbon like methane gas meets oxygen molecules that are hot and excited, the molecules separate into atoms. Two of the oxygen atoms bond with the carbon, forming carbon dioxide, while the other two oxygens take the hydrogens and form water. When the hydrocarbon chains are capped with OH, carbohydrates like alcohols, sugars, and starches are formed. Carbohydrates are the building blocks of plants and the fuels of animals. Methanol, rubbing alcohol in hospitals, is deadly when drunk. Ethanol, drinking alcohol in bars, is intoxicating. Glycerol is a sweetener and preservative. Alcohols are basic building blocks of sugars, like we see in glucose, the blood sugar carried in blood to fuel our brain cells. When sugars are chained, starches are formed. Bacteria break down sugars into alcohols, like in wine. When alcohols oxidize, the hydrocarbon chains get capped with COOH and are called fatty acids. With oxygen's double grip on the carbon that heads the chain, and with the alcohol head hanging on desperately, the molecule becomes a sour organic acid, like wine turning sour and becoming vinegar. Organic acids are the building blocks of proteins and fats that are the building blocks of life. Acids and alcohols combine to form fragrant and tasty compounds called esters. Depending on the length of the acid's tail and the length of the alcohol's tail, molecules resembling strings of different lengths are formed. Where the acid and alcohol join, two oxygen atoms pinch the string with a double bond. Just like different notes are produced from a vibrating string, depending on its length and where it's pinched, different smells and tastes are produced by these ester molecules. Ester strings are formed that can be easily connected to form polymers much like plants grow cellulose. These polymers called polyesters can be woven and spun into threads and fabrics much like cellulose in cotton is. In addition, polyesters can be melted to form sheets and bricks of plastic called PET. Esters can be designed for specific qualities by choosing the right alcohol and the right acid. Many interesting materials can be formed, such as the very strong mylar sheets of plastic used to make bulletproof vests and the very strong Kelvar solids that make bulletproof armor. When certain alcohols are oxidized, highly reactive compounds called aldehydes are formed with double bonds to the oxygen atom. They are used in manufacturing resins, dyes, and organic acids. Formaldehyde from methyl alcohol is a colorless toxic water-soluble gas used as a disinfectant and as a preservative, and in the manufacture of resins and plastics. When carbon monoxide atoms link two hydrocarbon tails, compounds called ketones like acetone are produced. Acetone is a colorless, volatile, highly flammable liquid that is widely used as a solvent, plant thinner, and nail polish remover. When the acids contain nitrogen, nitrogen's properties come out. These acids, called amino acids, form longer chains called protein. The much smaller nucleic acids form twisting chains as seen in DNA. These amino acids are chains similar to esters and like esters are formed by nature in materials like wool and silk and by chemists into polyamides like nylon. When two hydrocarbon tails are linked by an oxygen atom, colorless flammable liquids used as solvents and anesthetics called ethers are formed. 
They are pleasant smelling, resembling alcohols that occur naturally in starches and sugars. They are widely used in industry and in making pharmaceuticals. When two hydrocarbon tails are linked by two oxygen atoms, peroxides used in the chemistry industry are formed. When the tails consist of only one hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide used as a bleach and disinfectant is formed. When hydrogen peroxide comes into contact with blood, it bubbles into water and oxygen gas. Acids combine with the alcohol glycerol to form ester molecules of fats called triglycerides. These molecules are essential for forming cell walls and membranes within cells, as well as for insulating and protecting it from outside threats. Animals use reserve fat as fuel that the cells can burn for energy. When fat molecules break apart into fatty acid chains, they mix with metallic bases found in wood ash, like lye, and esters called soaps are produced. The metal end of the ester easily dissolves in water. The hydrocarbon tail end of the ester easily dissolves in fat and oil. This causes oil droplets to form in water that can be flushed away. Acids and bases are compounds that when dissolved in water break apart to form ions. They are very active, reactive and corrosive and for this reason they are widely used in industries. Acids have their proton extending outward and easily lose them from the tightly held hydrogen atom. The freed proton causes the remaining acid molecule with the lone electron to exhibit a charge and becomes a negative ion. Hydrogen chloride is one of the most used acids in industry. Bases are metallic compounds with an OH head that extends out sufficiently to be dislodged. The OH is tightly bonded with the unpaired electron of the metal. As unpaired electrons of metals are very loosely held, they are very easily dislodged. Caustic soda, known as lye, is one of the most used bases in industry. When caustic soda dissolves in water, the molecules separate into two ions. OH tears out the unpaired electron of the metal and becomes a negatively charged ion with the captured electron, leaving the wounded metal a positively charged ion. The positive ion of the base bonds with the negative ion of the acid to form an ionic bipolar compound called a salt. The proton from the acid and the OH ion from the base form the neutral and stable water molecule. Just like iron and nickel atoms are mined, concentrated, positioned into magnets, and moved by wind and water to generate energy. Uranium atoms can be mined, concentrated, and positioned into nuclear fuel rods to generate energy. As nuclei of atoms get more and more protons and neutrons, there comes a point where the additional protons or neutrons need to be squeezed in. This point is reached by iron and nickel. This is analogous to filling a container with balloons and reaching the point where they have to be squeezed in. With additional protons and neutrons, there comes a point where the nucleus snaps apart because the pressures in the nucleus are too great. This point is reached by lead. Atomic nuclei, heavier than lead, are squeezed in so much that they are unstable and are radioactive. They break apart, releasing stored up energy and emit particles and waves called radioactivity. Radioactivity is analogous to sparks of a fire. A few are harmless, but too many can be deadly. Radioactive atoms fission or break apart spontaneously without any external energy. Nuclear fission takes place whenever there are uranium atoms, whether they are in the ground, in nuclear reactors or in nuclear bombs. When a slow neutron hits a U-235 atom, 
It triggers the atom to burst apart into two atoms, a krypton and a barium. This releases a great amount of heat and neutrons that when slowed down by a water moderator trigger other U-235 atoms in the vicinity. If the other U-235 atoms are close enough and if there are enough of them, the reaction can be sustained like in a fire. A 90% pure U-235 uranium ball weighing about 50 kilograms, about the size of a football, and tightly contained is enough atomic fuel to be used in a nuclear bomb.